hold on, sorry. Because <laughs> as soon as the store, someone has to say we're going or we're going, because I got confused again. When you hear the beep, beep, beep. No, but if that happened, then she starts counting down. Yeah. Take to me the face! Absolutely right! Welcome to the Sports Pitch Podcast, our second ever Q&A. So we reached out on Instagram, put up a post, and you guys asked uh, some questions, and we are here to answer those questions. Again, because we are experts, and you guys are not. And you should listen to us. <laughs> we know, we know, we know we have, everything. No, nah, honestly, we have no idea what we're talking about, but, you know, I'm just... We have an idea, it's just our honest opinion. It's a small one, but it's, you know, it's just... It's, it's so if I speak for myself, I think I know a lot. I you have do a lot know of knowledge when it comes to sport. You, you are an knowledgeable man. If you want to listen to me, you win in life. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, we put up a post on Instagram and you guys get, got any questions and we're going to try our best here to answer them. We're not experts, but, you know, we're just, like I say every episode, three blokes love talking about sports. All right. So, question number one. Do you miss Prime 2012 Vembaba? Do we miss Prime 2012 Vembaba? I don't know about these two because they're not Doggies fans. The question, uh, the question, the better question is why would I miss 2012 Prime Ben Barber. Like what yeah. happened? Like, what did he do? <laughs> what did he do? He didn't win the grand final. He done anything. nothing for me. He done a lot for me. Did he do anything for you? That year we went to a lot of footy games. We did, and he pissed me off. Like I just remember this perfect one when they were playing the Eels. I don't, I don't know if you remember. They backed him into a corner, and he ran the whole field. And some guy, right, he he steps three people. Like you couldn't step him, and he did it. Mm. And it pissed me off. He ran the whole field. I'm not going to deny his talent. He done freakish player, things yeah, in 2012. Yeah. But that's what the rack does to you, my friend. <laughs> the rack. The rack. Yeah, that's where we're going. No, I do not miss uh, Ben Barber. Okay, as a Bulldogs fan, and I think I'm speaking on behalf of every single Bulldogs fan out there, we miss prime 2012 Ben Barber. When he signed for the Broncos, I felt like he personally had a go at me. Well, he, he did. He did. And, yeah. I do miss him. I really do miss as, him. As for me... I do not have Colombian fever. I don't miss <laughs> yeah, him. we get it. We get it. <laughs> we get it. All right? I don't miss him. So, man. no, no, yes, I do. Uh, next, next episode. Oh, my God. Next episode. Ne- no, no, no. We're still on this episode. <laughs> Relax. Don't click off. Uh, next, uh, next question, please. Producer. Is Arsenal going to win the league? We'll start off with a Man City fan. Okay. Arsenal going to win the league? I will say yes. 90% of me says yes, right? But that 10% where if we beat them, when we come oh. up against them, I feel like we'll take the lead. Yeah, that's going to be a, a huge that's pivotal point in the oh, title yeah. challenge, in the title race. Um, I think Arsenal will win the league, and I'll explain why after you give oh, it I think Arsenal will win as well. Okay, the only reason I think Arsenal will win the league is because City are still in the Champions League. They're going to have to prioritise games. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going to have to prioritise games, and I think they will prioritise the Champions, the Champions, Champions League. Yeah, because I feel that way too. City and need that if Champions League. If you remember League. when United beat City a couple of months ago, Pep said, uh, sorry, Pep said it, yeah. He said, um, oh, we've won the league many times. Yeah. We want to win the Champions League. So, uh, I'll be happy so to he's win not the hiding league. the fact that that's going to happen. I'll yeah. be happy to win, if we win the Champions League, I'll be happy to win the Champions League and not worry about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I think every you, you City fan. shit, yeah. if we're honest. Get over it. If we lose the Champions League and we don't win the APL. It's a, it's a failure of a season. Yeah. 100%. And that's a beautiful season. And they, they still are in the FA Cup as well. This is in the Ooh, FA Cup, so that's true. three competitions they're in. United Arsenal are only focused on the Premier they're League. They're not going to worry about the FA Cup, though. They are. The they FA Cup's run. a big, big trophy, and every they're club. They're going to United. Every club, one, yeah, that's going to be massive. Yeah, so. Massive. Like, if they're not going to care about that, they're playing their arch rival. Yeah. They're going to care, man. Oh, if it comes down to that, then yeah. They're going to care. So yeah. it's, it's, they're in They three. might be out of the Champions League by then, so. That is true. So that is we'll true. See. This Wednesday go. and next week as well, mm. versus Bayern Munich. Big big, big, game. big game. Only time will tell. All right. So yeah. So uh, I think they're going to win. You think they're going to win as well? Yeah. But just depending on that game, yeah. Arsenal versus City. Yeah, we up. all agree that Arsenal right now. I agree. Like that, Arsenal. Yeah. Yep. They'll win. Next question, please. Was the twenty two World Cup rigged? So was the twenty two FIFA World Cup rigged? I don't. I know. reckon it was one of the best World Cups I've seen. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Do you think In the final was rigged? I feel like whether it was rigged or not, I don't know. A lot of things went Argentina's way. A lot of things that should have been penalties, fouls, should have went against Argentina. That didn't happen. But in saying that, in the final, they did pop off and deserve it. Yeah, I don't think it was rigged. I don't think it was rigged. I don't think it was rigged. To to be fair, I don't think it was rigged. And I don't have an explanation for why. I just, that's my honest opinion. And again, yeah, it was one of the best World Cup finals 
of all time. Yeah. Not yeah. in the final, the whole World Cup. Was the whole, the the, yeah, World sorry, Cup yeah, the whole World Cup finals, like that whole mm. tournament. What other World Cup does it remind beginning you of? Beginning to end. It reminds, it, honestly, 2014 World Cup, yeah, the one amazing. in Brazil, wow. that was incredible as well. Yeah. But man, they're two fantastic World Cup. It's crazy that it, this happened in our lifetime. It's crazy. The players that we got to see play yeah. in these World Cups. And there's no dominating team. That's what's the best yeah, part. Like yeah, bro, Morocco. Look at Morocco. Wow, man. That, it was a fantastic Stood World Cup. for the whole Arab nation. Yeah, it was beautiful, man. Uh, the, and I don't know. I don't, we don't think it was rigged. Oh, no. Next question, please. Who is better, Pele or Maradona? And how do they compare to Messi and Ronaldo? That's a very good question. I like that question. Uh, I'll go first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pele Maradona. I think Maradona was the better player. I think what Pele done in the World Cup. I was going to say that too. Yeah, he's the only player to win three World Cups. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, which is huge. And I think he got his first one at 19. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. What That's what makes him be goaded. He did play amazing in the World Cup, every World Cup he played in, yeah. especially at 19. Done amazing things for Brazil. Yep. Done well things. But Maradona, just a, yeah, Maradona, think, just a step above. Yeah, Maradona won the Euro European League. He's won, he's won a World Cup. So he's done a lot. More in the game of football than Pele has. What Don't do you guys get me think? wrong, he was a shifty. Yeah, no, he um, was a shifty prick. I'm yeah, he was. He, he he had that fucking Colombian fever too, yeah, mate. He loved yeah, the uh, Maradona as well. Maradona over Pele. Yeah, and the way they compare to the next two, I think I'd put both above him. You'd put both Ronaldo, Ronaldo and, and Messi, Messi above, above Maradona and Pele. But yeah, above them too. Yeah. I would too. Yeah, okay, now I'll put I'll put Messi, Maradona, Ronaldo, Pele. Only reason. I'll put Messi and Ronaldo above is because we got to see more of them. Yeah, that, that, yeah 100%. And, yeah, and, and we know them a lot more. Yeah, for 100%. Maradona and Pelé, you have to look at highlights. You haven't seen their downfalls and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, no, I've, seen, so I've, seen, I've seen Maradona only through highlights. Yeah. You have to research them and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, documentaries. But I just see I like his, his play style, the goal in not the hand. So he scored two goals in, that, in that final, right? Mm -hmm. The hand of God was one of them. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> and the other one was he picked up the ball in his own half. And dribbled and past, foot, I think yeah. it was seven players. That's pretty crazy. I've seen that scored. one. Yeah. Crazy. Like that is, that does. That's not a fluke. You cannot fluke that. No, you can't. Yeah. So he was a freak. But yeah. Speaking of Pele, what do you think about him having his feet in the in, museum? In the museum. I don't know. I don't know what. I think that's about, a bit man. too far. It, it is. is. You gonna chop off Messi and Ronaldo's feet? No, I hope not. Man. They probably, they probably will. They probably will. They probably will. They might frame their cocks. <laughs> 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 okay. Let <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> well, Messi's gonna need a frame this big. Uh, He's a small man. You yeah, know, with a you have, you, as a small man yourself, you have small man syndrome. You know what you have packing down there. Alhamdulillah, I'm not complaining. I'm dropping small man. Henny, tell him what he has. Continue. Next question, please. <laughs> what do you think about LeBron passing Karim Abdul-Jabbar? Uh, so LeBron James passing Karim Abdul-Jabbar's record of the most points ever in NBA history. Well it's, deserved. It is well deserved. well deserved. It is well deserved. Look, I don't watch NBA much, to be honest. But for a career that LeBron has had and the length of his career, yeah, it, it was yeah, it was bound to happen. Yeah, but still, like you can't say you can't you can't take it away from him just because he's played more because he had the longevity, man. Oh, he's taking care of his body. That guy's an athlete. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I do put him in the top three NBA players. I put him top two. I think I think Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time, but yeah. there is, look, you say everyone's top three or five, like top five. He's I don't even, not even five, top three. Yeah. Everyone's top three. Yeah, but it's so, always a debate. Um, him getting it, it's a, it's a incredible achievement, man. Achievement, man. Incredible achievement to get a, to get to do that in any sport is huge. NBA, where it's high points, high point sport, it's really impressive, man. It's not really to toot my own horn, but I've seen him play live. Yeah, lucky dog. You are right. tooting your own horn in LA. What a place! It's lucky, man. That's that a, is that's a, his own horn, but that's a bucket. Yeah, who thing. who can say? How many people can honestly say, "I have gone to see LeBron James live," in your in your circle of friends? Look, you yeah. might have seen LeBron James. Yeah. I've seen Hazem and Utah at Allstag. I was there. No, you weren't. No, oh, where was Utah? It was the ref. Fuck, that's true. Yeah, it was having <laughs> yeah, a right, Dari so at halftime. So anyway, <laughs> we're going way off topic here. How do we get on to Hazem? All right, so LeBron James. Congratulations, well yeah, deserved, man. Ma but uh, yeah, so well deserved. It's impressive. Next one, please. Favorite NRL fight ever. So this is exciting. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. start. We'll go this way. There's been a few biffs. A few good ones. A few biffs in our time, before they fucking banned it soft cocked. Yeah, we we're talking about it before, man. Yeah, um, my fight. I love this fight, and the bloke that got pumped in this fight has a record of getting pumped by a lot of people. 
But this was a, a this, this was, was a hammer. Yeah, this was yeah. it was a punching bag. This yeah, straight out. One you feel like you actually you feel bad for him. I yeah. did. Well, you, I did. you watch that video now and you go, "Fuck!" Like that's enough. That's like, like, take it easy on him. <laughs> the raging bull, Gordon Tallis, absolutely mopping Ben Ross. But in that video, <laughs> right? You're bag. probably gonna put that video in. Ben right? the punching bag Ross. But that's Gordon the Gordon Tallis grabs him and like he doesn't want to hit. He doesn't want to hit. And he's like, but "Fuck!" When it. he lets that first one go. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It's all red. He's red. He's I think red. that right. first one felt so good on Ben Ross's head that he, he just wanted yeah, to keep going. Keep going. No, that was a cracker fight. What a that fight. is a good fight. It is a good pick. Uh, my pick is the, from uh, 2009 Game 3 of State of Origin. That was crap. Brett White versus Ooh, Steve Price. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Fuck. So I would say there was a third man in that knocked out there, Steve It Price. was uh, Waterhouse? Yes. Yeah, Waterhouse came Waterhouse. in over the top. So that was good. One on one, they stood there. Two, two props. Old fashioned fighting. Two big boys. Going at it, ended with a knockout. I love that fight just because of what it done for State of Origin yeah. for me. Yeah. Bro, for like that that was game three. I could not wait for next year. You because you remember what happened after. What they do? They got the penalty. What they do? Bomb. They bombed it straight yeah, away. And went straight for who who I think it was Gidley. I'm pretty sure it was Gidley. Like yeah, it was Gidley. Gidley. I think it was Gidley was Gidley. a fullback. Like, they mopped him. They, they mopped him and then Ben Cray runs in. <laughs> and gets scared. And pushes Justin Hodges. No, Sam, it pushes Sam Hodges, Fyde? no, it yeah. pushes Hodges and Sam Friday comes up to yeah, him. Yeah, and then so he, he starts <laughs> running. Hands up, running backwards. What a pussy. So that whole thing, bro, that just the G up, man, it was amazing. That was a good fight. And Darren Lockyer literally, when he got the ball to kick it, he grabbed the ball, kicked it, and led them down. Yeah, well, that the was forwards their game. are chasing the that ball. That was their game Never They wanted revenge, and that's what. What I love that? I love about State of Origin is it was known for its fights and more so what I love about Queensland they have that much passion that they just forgot about the game and they just went for Well revenge. at that point Queensland won the game. Yeah. Like and that's what the State of Origin no, is. I'm pretty sure Blues amazing. won that game. No, 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 How many yeah. siblings were in that no, game? Was it? Blues won that game. That's why they put the bomb up. Yes, they did. They didn't try to win the game. Did they win the game? No, we won. Winning. No, no, How many siblings were in that game? Because there was another fight further down the field later on, was uh, there not? No, there wasn't. This was before. Simbin yeah, there was no Simbin. He said one, like next one, he's all done. Oh, there was yeah. another fight that I remember in Origin. Yeah, where no, it broke so out a few times. What's it called? Um, puts in that kick. State of Origin started, man. Arthur Beaton. I think it was like the first five minutes. Cattle dog. No, 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 no. So Arthur Beaton, nineteen eighty. Arthur Beaton. So one of his Queensland players was like was on the floor and he gets hit, mm. and Arthur Beaton just swung at the guy. He swung at his own teammate from the Roosters. Oh, I've heard this. Yeah, yeah swung yeah. at him. That's why. That's where the term well, "mad against mate" where Matt, against Matt Singh comes from. And Matt Singh and um, what's his name? Hopawadi. Yeah, we're going at it. When they were teammates, they were teammates. No, I think they were teammates. They, they were teammates at Manly, and they had to go on the side sideline. I remember that fight. I can't remember the teammates. They were. Yeah, it's it's happened before, man. That's why State of Origin. Yeah, Matt Singh played for Manly. Yeah, he did. Oh. No, no, I can't remember. Sure. Him but I don't sure. know. Maybe he did. Anyway, next question, please. I don't know about. Oh no, uh, your fault, oh, my bad. I thought I said mine already. No, no, no. Oh. no. Um, I'm spewing because I forgot the other guy's name, but it was the Robbie Farah and... Uh, Watts. Watts. Watts in the scrum. Anthony Watts. Anthony Watts. That is a good fight. He was a So mutt. for the people who haven't seen that, it was they packed a scrum. Anthony Watts started laying into Robbie Farah. Next scrum, <laughs> Robbie Farah does the same thing. Robbie, you know, I was watching an interview. Robbie Farah... When they pack that scrum, he goes to his forwards, hold him down. I want to get yeah, him he back. Pumped him. He pumped him. Those uppercuts he landed on that man's forehead. Did you see his head? Yeah. You can still feel him today, the yeah, yeah, bro. But he was a mutt. Yeah, he was a prick, man. Anthony Watts was a fuck. I think he's in jail right now for fucking assault. He was a fucked human. Like Rob Farrow gave him nightmares, man. Bro, he yeah. fucking pumped him. Yeah. I love that. That was a good fight. Good options, man. I mean, that was three good choices. Yeah. Next question, please. Who is the worst player in NRL of all time? You can go first because you told me I'll a good go first. one. From my own mighty Roosters, Vunakisi. For the Roosters fans that remember him, built like a fucking tank, you know, tank. Beautiful. It looked you like it was great chiseled. cheese off that man's abs, yeah, bro. That bro that's, was, that's he awesome. was, I hope we can get a picture of him. He was like a good one. delicious. You're a fucking Scrumptious. Yeah. Yes, he was. All right? Yeah. For some you reason, worried. whenever he ran the ball, he lost five meters. Yeah. How are you built shit. that big and losing meters? It was so fucking shit. There was, a game, was there was a game against Newcastle. He was pulled through a gap. My grandma will score. <laughs> My grandma. He got pushed backwards. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking shit. Yeah. I can't think of one right now. You go. The I've got only one, man I, I can think of, and he's playing right now, I'm not going to say. He's going to say Cole Flanagan. No, I'm not going to say Cole Flanagan. <laughs> 
Probably Charlie Staines. <laughs> Probably Charlie Staines. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. He has no reason to be in an like No, bro. nothing. Like, yeah, he offers nothing to a team. He's fucking shit. Yeah, he's pretty bad. He was said on the podcast that he's, he got called underrated. Yeah, he was. He was on the podcast. If you missed the episode, go watch it. All right. So he got that. He got the the Forbes Ferrari nickname. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck from his underage team. I'm telling you now, it's Andrew Voss that makes so he makes up names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Voss is just throwing All right, uh, for me, this is back in the day. Maybe a lot of you won't remember. It's Daniel Holdsworth. Oh, for the dogs. dogs. For the yeah, dogs. He played for the Dragons. He played for the Dogs. He was a five eight. This guy could not catch a ball to save his life. You could you could place it in his hands. He'll drop it. When I used to watch this guy, he used to infuriate me. So he you know was who was very similar to him? Who? Ravalawa. His first season in the Dragons, everyone was scratching their head like, how did this man make the NRL? He oh, could not catch a ball. He Nabuli as well when he Nabuli first started. Oh, wow. When he Until he swanned with Union. That's he he swanned with yeah. the Red Devils or whatever the, the fuck Reds, they're called. The Queensland Reds. And, he, he and, and we made it to the semis star. that year. He became a And superstar. he scored the try to get you into extra time. Yeah, yeah, no, he became, right. no, he became... He signed the contract... Playing the worst footy I've ever seen. Yeah, and he started. And then became Prime Israel for Lau, bro. He was a freak. <laughs> Prime Israel for He was so good. It's a but big yeah. call. Uh, so that's our three worst players of all time. Next question, please. All right, so this is the last question. When are you lads going to bring the man, the myth, the legend, Handsome Sam on the show? Handsome Sam. Sam. I only got one thing to say to you, Handsome Sam. When the Tigers win a game, I'll consider bringing you on. Because like right now your rugby league knowledge looks a bit scrappy. <laughs> if you support the Tigers, that's a bit You rough. have no idea. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I reckon that's tomorrow, man. You reckon tomorrow they win? Against the Eels. If they win tomorrow, you come on next week. <laughs> <laughs> done. All right. Uh, so just, that's the Q&A section done. So we're going to play just a little game here. Um, we're going to do a... You, we're going to pick at least three rugby league players and we're going to ask each other, would you play that player, would you bench that player, or would you sell that player? So this is play... Uh, bench so I think we should learn that after every Q&A on Sunday we'll play a little game yeah we'll do a little just game just have some fun yeah just have some fun on the podcast you guys can play along at home at w- uh, play along at home in, in the, the comments. comments section write down what you guys will do if we're completely wrong let us know alright and we'll start off uh, with we'll start I'm off curious with you. Hmm. Right, let's go alright so I chose the centre position okay centres and so what are we playing it's bar no so play, play bench, bench so okay I've got Latrell Mitchell Greg Inglis and Mal Meninga. In the centres. In the centres. I'll go first. Yeah. I'll play Greg Inglis. I'll bench Latrell and I'll sell Meninga. Sell Meninga? Yeah, 100%. Shoot. So who, who are you playing? I'm playing Inglis. Inglis is, the, in my opinion, the greatest centre of all time. I think, yeah, that's your opinion. You think I'm wrong? No, I respect it. Who do you think is the greatest centre? No, I respect it. I'll, I'll play Greg Inglis as okay. well. I will bench Meninga. And I'll get rid of Latrell. Okay. What would you do? Uh, because I'm, I should have thrown out, we're talking about Latrell, like the way he looks now, by the way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to start off. You said who you play. I'm selling Latrell off the bat. For play. free? Put him up. Just for free. Free transfer? Yeah. <laughs> you can have him. Go play for Doonside. Anyways. Who um, else Doonside? <laughs> <laughs> sure there's a club there. Yeah. Doonside Raiders or some shit. Um, play, play English and bench Melbourne. Okay, the only reason I'll sell Meninga is I just think the athletes of today are so much better than before. That's the only reason I'll play yeah. That's Latrell fair over, That's fair over Meninga. Yeah. But I think what they've, uh, if we're looking at careers, like if we're not looking at that, careers and what they've done, but Meninga's career is fucking up there with one of the greatest careers a rugby league player's yeah. ever had. Yeah, Origins, World Cups. Um, everything, everything. Grand everything. finals. Captain, done captain everything. Season, yeah, yeah, he was a freak. So, but... For today's game, I think uh, Latrell, they're just way more athletic nowadays. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I'll go next. Okay, I've picked three halfbacks, and this is very hard. Mm-hmm. So I'm going Cooper Cronk, Jonathan Thurston, Andrew Johns. Wow, that's, that's... It's very wow. hard. Fucking rough. It's very hard. Uh, Fucking rough. You want to start? Shit. You can start, you can start. I can start? Yeah. Fuck me. All right. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> Stop. You know what the problem is. Last week's video, I said that yeah, Thurston is the best. Uh, well, the yeah, the yeah that's why I wanted you to answer first. I think I'm selling him. Wow, that's a big call. So he's not the goat. That yeah, how'd you? Yeah, you can't. How's your goat if you're selling him off the bat? Because he done big things for the game, but clutch players. You need Cooper Cronk on the field. 
I'll put Cooper Cronk on the field. So you'll play Cooper Cronk? Yeah, but I'll sub him in a big moment for Johns. For Johns. Okay, Thank so, you. so yes. do, do the three. Do the three, Sam. So Cooper Cronk's playing. Yeah. On the bench is Andrew Johns and Thurston's gone. You're selling first. Selling You're selling your goat. Yeah, I'm selling He's my selling goat. He's selling his hey, goat. Controversy at its finest, that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm Mate. selling the goat. When Mate. they say the word full of shit, that is you for last week's podcast. <laughs> no, he's still the How goat. How do you say How's someone's a goat? goat? You said someone was the How's goat. How's your goat? Collectively. That's like me saying Messi's... What do you mean collectively? That's like me saying Messi's the goat, but I'd rather Ronaldo. This question, I'm, I'm basing it off a... Just You're playing the grand final. Do you clearly think Cooper Kong's better? No, I don't. Yep. Yeah, oh, you do. Oh. No, I don't. You, no, literally, <laughs> you literally just you said just Cooper Cronk is better than Thurston and... You I'm said, no, no. You said I'm playing Cooper Cronk and I'm subbing on you who? Know what, you know what Andrew I'm, Jones is the biggest I'll moment. tell you what I'm basing it off. The end of their careers. Right? Because Cooper Cronk ended his career... Three grand finals in a row. He was a freak. Why are you doing it towards the end of their career? Because that's, that's what I remember most of them. All right. We remember their prime. He's asking you this yeah. question. Prime. Prime? Prime. Prime of three of their careers. You've baffled me. <laughs> That's all you do if you're a little goat. You know what? Fuck you. Don't and fuck you. <laughs> I'm playing Thurston. Yeah, so you're a switch up. I'm playing Thurston. Prime Thurston. So you just went from selling him to playing him. I'm putting Cooper Crunk on the bench and I'm selling freaking your hey, goat. Hey, you're confused. I'm selling your goat. You're confused as fuck, mate. <laughs> You have, you have no idea. I hate you. You have no idea. I hate all. all right, so that's Moe's. <laughs> no, no, I'll stick to my. Yeah, so I'll get rid again. Of, yeah. what is, so. I'll get rid of Thurston. I'll play Cooper Conk and put um, Zabri on the bench. You can't say Zabri. Say his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. John. Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones. All right, so just let us know in the comment section below how wrong he is. You go. Yeah. Play Andrew Jones, bench Cronk. Get rid of Thurston. I don't think Thurston, in my eyes, relax everyone, Thurston does not compare to them two, for in my eyes. Fair. He's up there. That's fair. I'll play Johns, I'll bench Thurston, Bullshit. I'll sell Cooper Cronk, 100%. Bullshit. 100%. 100%. So you think Thurston's better than Cronk? 100%. He's easy, that's not even a question for me. I just feel like... Game management? That's, that's, exactly why, that's exactly why I went Cronk. Game management, um, Cooper Cronk... Let time. me explain why I've I done what I've done. Cooper Cronk, he's got the head for the game. Greatest of all time, game management. His game management is incredible. I feel like Andrew Johns will do better under pressure off the bench, and that's why I got rid of Thurston. Okay, so I think game management, 100%. Cooper Cronk, greatest of all time. You can still see it now. The way he breaks down the game, this bloke knows what he's talking about. But Andrew Johns and Jonathan Thurston had way more to their games. They both scored more tries than him. Both kick goals, mm. okay? Both have more assists. Yeah. That's why I'm picking them two. I respect it. All right, so John starting, Thurston on the bench, and uh, Cooper Cronkin, I don't know, go something for the Bulldogs or some shit. Next one. I think you need more than that. I think it'll help. No, next one. Help a lot. What's the next one? Am I me? Yeah, you're my tool. <laughs> you for a hey, this, for this, you're off your head. It's a bit late. <laughs> it's getting late. Um, I've chosen fullbacks. Billy Slater, Greg Inglis, oh. and Jared Hayne. All in prime. Now we're talking about prime. All in prime. So we're we using Senna Inglis as a prime? No, no, fullback Inglis. Fullback Inglis, uh, Souths. Fullback Inglis. Grand final winning. Origin winning. He puts another nail in the coffin. Inglis. Oh, no. A prime. The Guana crawls Inglis. He played his best career. He played his best football. So football. you said to be. You said. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that cousin So um, You said Billy Slater yeah? Yeah I did Okay so Flying I think here. Everyone's playing Billy Slater We're talking prime <sighs> That's a hard one it's bad um, Benching Hayne Getting rid of Inglis Benching Hayne Getting, getting rid of Inglis prime That is fun prime Yes that's big. That is huge. That's big. Hayne in his prime did things no man can do. 100%. Slayer on his prime, the way he runs and plays the ball, it's just not normal. I felt them firsthand. Inglis, you felt both firsthand. Fucking hell. Inglis, superstar. 
can fend the world, it just uh, doesn't compare. Does it give you lazy literal vibes? No way. No, no. Uh, I, was, uh, I had to ask. At fullback though, he did he did get bigger. Yeah, but he's still bro. He was he, involved but he's still an athlete. Game. He's still an athlete. The only thing that 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 you could fault him on, he got old. That's the only. That's the yeah, only reason. Yeah. But that's something. That, that's that why if comes. we if you say. Um, prime English as centre English, but take him into fullback. It's English. I'll chuck English. Well, in. prime English. No, but in he general. played his best football. No, but he's saying he as played, a fullback. He played his best football at fullback. Round, won a grand final at Origin. Yeah, but look at the teams he had too. Guys, come on. Yeah, of he course. carried Souths. What do you carry? Look at the team they had. Who was the half? Uh, Adam Reynolds. Uh, five Adam Reynolds and Kiri. Come on, man. There were so many better. They, 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 they Cooper Cronk and Munster were halfback and five eight during them years for the Storm. There were some really good teams out yeah, there. I know, but I'm just Bro, saying. But he carried. Well, he did. What are you doing? Now I'm talking about prime. Yeah, yeah not overall careers. For no, me, no, the prime. greatest fullback of all time is Billy Slater. Yeah, right. But yeah. prime, I'm pl- I'm starting. Uh, what's his name? Jared Hain. Hundred percent. That t- twenty eight, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand nine. Jared Hain. The second greatest season I've ever seen a player play. That's fucked. The second greatest mm-hmm. ever mm-hmm. I've ever seen play. So I'm starting him because I'm taking that Hain, the one that stepped eight of your players. Yeah. Yeah, I hate him. Yeah, Fucking okay. Tell- Hain train. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, all oh. aboard. Where are you now, Hain? Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> we'll talk about that. Hey. Okay, so 2000, uh, I'll play, take 2008. By the way, the one of the biggest fuck ups in sporting history, but that's for another day. Okay, I'm taking him to start. I'm benching Greg Inglis. I'm selling Billy Slater. I, who did you start? He started Slater. Slater. Okay. I'm starting Hain. I am also getting rid of Greg Inglis. Thank you. And I'm benching Slater. All right, so I got I got rid of Billy Slater. I'm I'm benched. I benched uh, Greg Inglis. You can't get rid of Billy Slater. Billy Slater. It's, it, but it's this is so hard. Just the things Billy Slater that did. I think that Billy Billy Slater paved the way for an English, the English that we seen. He taught him the ropes. Yeah, well, Billy Slater, Billy there Slater. Was, there was no ball, ball playing fullbacks. Yeah, Billy Slater yeah. changes the game for fullbacks, but I do think, I think in their prime, like I said, Jared Hayne, the second best year, only, uh, only, and I don't know if you guys are going to agree with this. Ben Barber. Only after Ben Barber. No, honestly, that individual season, that 2012, 2012 was amazing. Was untouchable. You said it, bro. Gets the ball in in his own goal line. Even against Melbourne, he done it. Against Melbourne, against Parry, he done it every game. Yeah. He's the only player I've ever grew up watching when the Bulldogs are playing. Wherever he touched the ball, I thought something was going to happen. Very similar to Tedesco in 2018. Yeah, ex- exactly, bro. But he just was on another level. But Jared Hayne, 2000, 2009, he's starting. I'm benching Greg Inglis. The only reason I'm benching Greg Inglis is because I think he... Has a lot more to his game. Yeah. At size, you can play him in different positions. Yeah. Yeah, but I know that's not the question, but yeah, yeah, and Billy Slater is a fullback. So again, get involved in the comment section below. That was fun. That was okay, we'll throw we'll throw in random little fun games yeah. at the at the end of every Q and A, and you guys can get involved in the comment section below. So please feel free to do so. And that's it for the uh, second episode of the Q and A. Uh, we'll see you again next week. Peace.